My name is Lai Momwe. I would like to present about the objective of our product. First, to design an ergonomic and easy to use trolley. Second, to achieve a maximum storage volume. Third, to develop a space saving trolley for transport or land use. Below are the results that we obtained from our survey. We can see that female users are more than male users. This is because females purchase more items and they likely spend their time in the store. Next, we can see that our highest audience status are the regular shoppers, followed by parents with child and senior citizen. Most of them have no income and most of them are represented by the students. Out of 45 respondents, 75 of them feel that our design very satisfies to them. Even though most of them feel that our design has no any improve, no need any improve, but some of them still give us some suggestion. We have applied the knowledge of product development process. Mofung and Chichai, it for proof to functional illness, the mechanism and concept generation. Now I'm going to introduce the part of our product. Get ready, showtime. Top part including basket and basket frame. Our basket has a maximum storage so that you can include everything inside the basket without extra handling a grocery bag. Middle part including trolley legs and one special part. It is the basket through the carbonate by just sliding it. The special part called the groove, which considering sliding machine. Bottom part including platform, slider, and 300 degree turn on point wheels. The slider, which attached at the both sides of the platform, is to lock the platform so that the platform not easily to be bent. Platform also offer a maximum storage to the user. The above is my speech. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone and now I am going to explain about the material analysis To fabricate our product, first we have to know the suitable material that we can use By this, we can use a design requirement table as shown on the slide From the design requirement tables, I am going to focus on just on the objective because from the objective, we can identify two things which is the material properties and also the attributes Based on the objective that we have discovered in slides, we can identify the material index that is related with the properties by this, we need to use a CES Edupack software as shown in the slides. There are 5 different materials that we use to make our product and the first material are PET plastics. The PET plastics are used to make the baskets. And next is cast aluminium alloy. For the cast aluminium alloy, we take 2 materials which is a hollow rod and also an aluminium plate. Next is a flexible polymer foam. The flexible polymer foam is for the handle. And then we use a PP plastic which is polypropylene for the base platform And last but not least is low steel alloy And now I am going to explain about the process selection For our product, we have adopted 6 different process as shown in the video The first process used are sewing machines Sewing machine process are used to sew the PET materials to become a basket And next is drilling machine Drilling machine are used to make a hole on the hollow rod to connect them together and next is laser cutting laser cutting are used to make our own slider and besides that we also use a sheet stamping machine because we are fabricating our own slider and then we are using an mig welding machine for mig welding machine we want to join both trolley legs to make it more stable and last but not least is a milling machine milling machine is used to make the groove so we can get an exact dimension as our products I will continue with analysis of product. First, I will talk about static analysis. There are two main parts that our group focus on the product. There is trolley base and trolley frame. This is the stress result for the trolley base. As you can see, almost all the parts are in the blue color because the stress across the part are low and balanced except for the slider lock. Slider lock for this part are used to support the base. Next for the displacement result, the displacement has the higher at the higher position of the part because the gravity at that position are high. Next for the strain result, same as the strain result, most all the parts are blue except for the certain part because at the certain part, it used to support or withstand the force of the part. Next is the stress result for the trolley frame. As we can see, only the low part of the trolley frame has the higher stress force. Net displacement result. The higher displacement is at the higher position of the part because at that point, the gravity is high. 
next train result for the trolley frame same as the stress result only the low part of the trolley frame has the highest strain force because at that part it used to withstand the force of the part lastly i will talk about ruler analysis for this product we focus three main posture first when we pushing the trolley second when we sliding the basket into the boot third when we folding the trolley this is the result for the pushing trolley both side left and right show the final score is 2 so there is no need to improve for the design because the final score is good enough next the result when we slide in basket left and right side show the final score is 2 so there is no need for improvement overall the design is good and lastly we, uh, for the folding trolley the right and left side show the final score is 3 this score is acceptable but need some improvement okay that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum and hi to everyone I will continue with the engineering cost analysis. There are six main materials that was used to make this product which is PET for the basket, aluminium for the frame, groove and trolley legs, lost alloy for the slider part, flexible foam for the handle grip, polypropylene for the base platform and also PVC for the wheels. Some of them are ready made and can be bought online to save cost. For example, the wheels can be obtained in Shopee application for around 4 ringgits. Next, we need to make a complete list of our variable cost or direct cost. The assumption that we use is that we will producing hundreds of products every month. The labor cost consists of all the engineers and also the operators, while the direct expenses are including the electricity, utility, and many others. This will cost around 20,577 ringgit and 55 cents. Meanwhile, these are the indirect costs that involve during the manufacturing process. It includes the fasteners like screws and nuts, rental fee and also machine amortization. All of this will cost around 6,688 ringgits and 20 cents. Next, we will calculate the selling price. In order to do that, we must first calculate the total production cost by adding the fixed cost and the variable cost. Hence, we get 27,225 ringgit and 75 cents. After that, we need to divide it by 100 to get the cost per unit. We get 272 ringgits and 25 cents. We have set the minimum profit margin for 15%, hence the selling price will be only 313 ringgit and 10 cents. Lastly, we will calculate the break-even point by using the formula of fixed cost over unit contribution. As a result, we need to sell 63 units in order to break even the cost. For a comparison, we compare our product to our nearest competitor which is Brand X that costs for around 1,809 ringgits and 65 cents. With that higher in price compared to our product, it still does not equip with the sliding mechanism. In a conclusion, the price of our product that costs only 313 ringgit and 10 cents suits best with the features that we provide. So now about sustainability. In sustainability, first of all, we're going to see life cycle thinking of loadable trolley, which are basket, basket frame handle, basket frame, trolley legs, wheels, latch sliding locks, trolley floatable platform, and groove. These are which we can recycle. Now we move to eco web design. First, we are going to see about components and material use. Let's see about material use. First, PET. PET is average good at all area because PET sometimes spun together with natural fiber. Second, cast aluminum alloy. Cast aluminum alloy naturally corrosion resistant, which helps in structure and increase life spin. Third, steel low alloy. The use of steel for the slider and 360 degree wheel is very useful because the part is movable so it need to have high optimal life next pur flexible foam most polyether based pur does not support fungal mold maldi growth and therefore highly suitable for tropical environment lastly polypropylene pp has a high potential for recycling and low conversion of energy because high amount of carbon dioxide emitted now we see about eco indicator in eco indicator we have production usage and disposal 
For production, we have 12 materials or process which is total result 3,531. For usage, there are two types of materials or process which is total result 111,838. Next, for disposal, there are 8 types of materials or process which is total result 13,134. Our product have enhancement. In our previous design, the platform we are using aluminium metal. After that, we found out that the total weight of the trolley are too heavy. So, we decided to change the material to the PP plastic. Finally, we found out that the total weight of the trolley are more lighter than the previous one. For product enhancement in terms of materials analysis, we decided to change from cast aluminum alloy into a polypropylene based platform. This is because cast aluminum alloy has higher density compared to polypropylene which is 2700 kg per meter cube. Meanwhile, polypropylene only have 900 kg per meter cube. Meanwhile, compared to other plastics, polypropylene has higher strength and it provides more aesthetic. Next, product assessment for static analysis. For this chapter, the product or part that we assessment is the trolley base. Before assessment, the material for trolley base are aluminium and the position of the slider lock is at the below of the base. After assessment, we change the slider lock position to the side of the base and the material of the trolley base we change from aluminium to polypropylene. This is the stress result comparison between before and after the assessment. Net displacement result comparison between before and after assessment and lastly stand result comparison between before and after assessment. We can conclude that after the assessment, we change the material from aluminium to polypropylene and change the position from below to the side of the base. The product design getting better and much better from before assessment. Comparison in terms of the cost before enhancement and after enhancement, we found that by undergo enhancements, we can reduce the selling price by maintaining the profit margin. As a result, the selling cost was reduced by 6.82% compared to original price. For sustainability, before this, the trolley floatable platform was designed by aluminium, but now we change to polypropylene because polypropylene has high potential for recycling. So, this trolley designs an ergonomic and easy to use. Secondly, it achieves a maximum storage volume and developing space saving for transport. This trolley can be used by all person which cannot lift heavy weight. This trolley is portable that you can bring anywhere easily. During this situation COVID-19 pandemic, this trolley is so hygienic. So, you can bring this trolley any shopping malls or market. The cost is 313 ringgit only, which is comfortable for you and feel good with it. Okay, thank you for watching our video.